Hello everybody, hope you're having a good day today. And today, uh, I'm going to be starting a new series on this channel and it's going to be about AP Physics 1. And I personally know that the AP test is coming up and I'm also taking this AP test and I thought this would be a good series for anyone trying to learn physics or trying to review just for the AP test. Also, uh, it's not only limited to the AP test as well as if you're just interested in learning physics or if you're in Physics 1 for college, I think, the first semester is almost AP is basically AP Physics. So I hope you're excited and basically what I'm going to do in this video is just go over the topics that I'll be teaching over the series. So this video might not have much like the content, it'll just have what I'll be going over essentially. So I hope you're excited and let's get to it. Alright, so let's get to it. So first of all, we're going to be obviously learning kinematics as this is a huge part of the AP test. So in kinematics, what we'll be doing is... Uh, so we'll obviously be doing the five formulas and if you don't know what these are don't worry about it uh, you'll learn and I'll teach all these formulas and what they do and how to derive them so those are the five formulas we're also going to do velocity ver uh, or not, let me start, not start with that let's say distance versus time graphs uh, velocity velocity versus time graphs and we're also going to do acceleration versus time graphs as this is actually a pretty important part Oops, that looks like mess um, but you get the point so basically this is a huge is a huge part of, of the AP test as they like to test these kind of things and from what I've seen so they'll be testing like uh, there's a certain gra curve of, in the graph what how, what type of velocity time graph will that be or what type of acceleration versus time graph will that be that sort of stuff so that's all what we're going to be going over in kinematics and also we'll be doing a lot of problem practices and uh, with these problem practices there's going to be like projectile motion which is another part. Um, there's also, uh, I know there's also uh, relative motion and I'll like briefly touch upon that but it's not too important from what I've seen on the AP test. It's not like really tested as much but it will be there just so you're, you're aware of it and also it will also help in other physics classes not just for the AP test. And um, we'll also talk about and oh yeah okay so we'll talk about problems so there's gonna be a lot of problems that I'll go over so I'll have a problem up and I'll just solve it and I'll show you how to solve it so that's like one part that we're gonna go over so that's gonna be all of kinematics alright so now into dynamics and dynamics is gonna be a pretty important unit actually and it's gonna have a lot of content but it's gonna be I think it's I think it's one of the more fun units honestly so we're gonna go over obviously Newton's laws and these are going to be like the main formulas really for the entire unit. There aren't like many formulas just like the kinematic section. So 3 Newton's laws, most important is going to be F equal to MA. And you don't need to know what this is. And I'll explain that, but it's the Newton's second law if you're interested. And it's going to be the most important uh, formula. In, and this will help you the most in solving like every problem. Um, furthermore, we're going to talk about different types of forces. So like tension force, gra uh, gravitational uh, force, it's going to be like, okay, let me write that better. Uh, gra gravitational force. Um, there's also going to be, um, let me think. So there's going to be a normal force, weight force, all that kind of stuff. And there aren't like set formulas for this. Um, it's just basically going to be a lot of problem practice that you're going to go through. And I'll explain all these things. And so they're also going to be, they're all going to be forces that we're going to talk about, right? And so therefore, we're going to do a lot of problems in this unit. Uh, furthermore, we're also going to go over circular motion here, and circular motion as in uh, banked curves. Uh, these are just types of problems that I'm going to go over. So banked curves, oops, not backed. Uh, banked curves. There's also going to be like just normal curves, like cars turning around curves uh, on like a road, for example. Just going to be friction, like problems involved. There's going to be in fact, the friction probably goes into forces, but yeah, there's going to be friction, there's going to be like orbit problems, like planet orbiting around a certain mass, and then like finding the uh, find the gravitational force on that, weight, all that kind of stuff. There's also going to be inclines, incline problems. This won't have to do with uh, circular motion necessarily, but it'll have to do with the Newton's laws, inclines, there's going to be pulleys, and it might seem uh, like a lot at the start, but it's not too much. And you'll see, as, as after, it's basically like the same idea, but you're applying it in different places. And also, I wanted to star some of these things that are pretty important. So I'll say these forces, like knowing 
what force is going on at what time. Because sometimes they do context-based stuff and the Newton's laws, obviously. And okay, and then I'm gonna add it here. So there's also gonna be horizontal and vertical circles, and this is also gonna be pretty important. So, and don't worry about what these mean right now. I'm just going over what we'll be learning to, throughout. And the most important thing, which I have yet to go over for some reason, is free body diagrams. So this is sort of like a diagram that you will do on the AP test because it's required and it's also very common. And it will help you basically understand what forces are acting on a system or on an object uh, at the current time. And it'll help you apply Newton's laws to solve for whatever you're trying to solve. This is so this is like super important. So that's why I have it at the top. So these are this is what we're gonna learn in dynamics. And obviously I can't forget problems. This is gonna be it's gonna be a lot of problems in this unit. And it's going to be super important because the more problems you do in dynamics, the more fun it is, and it's also the easier it gets to understand. So this is mostly what the dynamics units are going to be about, and this will be a good preparation for the AP test. And work energy is uh, sometimes a confusing in unit, but it, I'll hopefully make it as simple as I possibly can. So I'm just going to call it work energy. So there's going to be it's going to be a more concept base here. So there's going to be the work formula that we're going to do, right? Work formula. And then there's going to be, uh, so there's going to be work formula. There's also going to be power formula. I'm starting out with like the basic formulas that we'll do. Um, and I'll explain what these formulas mean as well. So it's not just like, okay, here's a formula and hope you learn it. It's like, I'll explain what these formulas actually mean. And you can actually use them in some, like there's a few questions where there's analysis of formulas and you can use them there. Also, we're going to do, uh, so there's gonna it's kind of like forces here again, and there's gonna be a lot of problems here that we're gonna do like problem practice. We'll also do some spring for uh, springs here, and so springs are usually in oscillation, but there's uh, there's gonna be a few in the work energy as well. So we'll do that here, and I think I mean mostly what I'm thinking of is problems right now, but there's also gonna be like potential energy, so like gravitational potential energy that sort of stuff, and then there's gonna be kinetic energy. Um, that we're also going to learn about and also we got uh, so in work energy mostly you're going to have to basically see where energy is getting transferred so I'll talk about why that's a thing and also where energy is lost so there's that's there's going to be like conservative and non-conservative right and forces that that sort of stuff and that will be a super important uh, in basically uh, I don't even think I spelled that right. Non-conservative. Uh, okay. Uh, Non-conservative. Anyways, so this is going to really help you implement the main formula, which is the work energy formula. And it's going to look, uh, and that's going to be like the main part of this entire unit, essentially. And this formula will help you in every work energy problem, mostly. So that's going to be work energy, I think. So then I think I would like to go on to... Uh, rotational the rotational unit so th the rotational unit is essentially going to be dynamics uh, with rotations so that kind of sounds weird but what I'm basically saying is it's going to be about uh, for example I'll draw like this sort of a system so there's a pulley here a block is attached or two blocks are attached and the pulley is going to be spinning so it's going to be a lot of spinning and a lot of rotating so in this unit, we're gonna have, uh, they're gonna have rotational kinematics, right? All, basically, all the units that we've done so far. So rotational kinematics, oops. So rotational kinematics, rotational dynamics. I'm just gonna list them here. Dynamics, and also there's gonna be work energy here, which is mostly just gonna be rotational kinetic energy here, and and so basically here, uh, so. So we'll, ha we'll have a repetition of like all the other units, but with the rotational world. And then we're going to have torque, which is also very important. And it's very, it's very hot, commonly tested. So we're going to have to get this weld. And I'm going to put this in yellow just so, you know, because this is a pretty important part. So torque is going to be there. And then we're going to do a lot of problems. So all of these units are going to have a lot of problems. So I'll teach like these topics and then we'll do problems and that will really help you understand. So I think that's mostly what the rotational units about because this torque, there's going to be a lot of stuff involved in torque and you're going to see like there's going to be equilibrium and all that kind of stuff, all that fun stuff. 
So that's what we're going to do there. There's also going to be moment of inertia. And we're basically going to gonna go through all of that here. Yeah. And then lastly, I think our last part of this, uh, or not the last part, one of the last parts of the series will be momentum. And I, I want to put momentum here because we're going to do both kinds of momentum. So the, we're going to do linear momentum, which is uh, like in a, it's, it's basically non-rotational. So essentially in a straight line or 2D momentum with uh, mass and velocity. Uh, so there's going to be linear momentum, which I'll teach and we'll do a lot of problems again. And there's going to be rotational momentum that we're going to do here. And we're just going to do different types of problems. Not all of these problems will be like, you'll get a specific answer at the end. It will be sort of like, uh, there's going to be like uh, quantity type of problems where you need an answer at the end. And there's going to be questions where you're just trying to derive for a formula. And then, as I said, let me just write that again. We're going to do a lot of problems. So, yeah, you're going to, I've repeated that a lot. But it was going to be a lot of problems. Okay. And then lastly, it's going to be about... Uh, simple harmonic motion. Or I'm just going to write SSGM here. And here we're going to do springs, pendulums, and all that sort of stuff. And there will be a lot of form. There's going to be a, oh, a lot of formulas, but there's going to be a pretty good amount of formulas here. And we're going to do a lot of problems as stated before. And that's sort of all you're going to need to be ready for this AP test or study for physics or get a really good understanding of the basics of physics. Now, AP Physics 1 is algebra based, so there won't be any calc calculus here. So it's all algebra based, right? So no calculus. Uh, I will make a calculus series later on in the future, but this one will not have any calculus here. So, so I think this should be good uh, for preparing for the AP test. Now these problems that I'm getting, they're all going to be from different places. So maybe past AP tests or FRQs and I'll also have practice FRQs and I'll link them in but um, link them in the description below if you ever want to know and I'll have them so that whenever we do a kinematics video there's gonna be kinematics FRQs and below or uh, kinematics practice on the bottom so you guys can look at the practices and just practice on your own time as well so I hope you're excited to get the series started I'll be probably uploading a video or two uh, in this week about on the series and we'll get started with kinematics so I hope you're excited. Smash the like uh, button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And I hope to see you soon.